Hello, welcome to another video. Well, today's the day. Uh, about a week ago, my last species turned adult. This is the second generation, so I've had them adult before, but I never took uh, any video. As you can see, it's uh, quite the beauty. The bigger specimen in the front is the female, and in the back you can see the male. And males are a lot smaller, and they have uh, uh, usable wings, so they can use their wings to fly with. And as you can see, the female here has wings as well on their back, with like a white bludge on it, all the way to over here. But she's uh, way too heavy to fly, so she just uses them to uh, scare off uh, predators by flapping them. And... Uh, Oh, I put my hand next to it. They are pretty damn big. They are called Fasma Gigas for a reason. Like, they're one of the biggest species I've ever had. I think their body size can be like 25 centimeters. Which is uh, pretty damn insane for an insect, I would say. And if, you zoom, if I zoom in, you can see it. The animal has a lot of cool features, like it has all kinds of spikes on its uh, body, on its limbs. I really like the way the head is like tucked in between the, the arms. Like if I go up a little bit with the camera, you can see that it holds its arms straight forward. And there's like a little, a little cup in its, in its front limbs where it can like its head so it seems like its head is not there it's just a long well twig I guess which I think is quite cool like more of the larger uh, stick insect species have this feature and I think it's kind of cool let's see if we can get the male in focus well these animals are uh, they're not the hardest to keep but they're not the easiest either uh, the main reason why they're a bit more difficult at times is because they just eat a lot. Like, uh, they clean out their cage, like four or five animals will clean out their cage in like five days. So you'll be out uh, hunting for food plants all the time. Uh, you're gonna need a huge garden to be able to like feed these with just uh, your own grown uh, stuff because the well, they just eat a lot. Like it, uh, herbivores tend to like need more food because leaves are not that nutritious, I guess, compared to to the flesh. So yeah, this is uh, Fasma gigas. I think it's pro probably my favorite species. It has a good balance of difficulty and uh, oh, and the uh, the animals are uh, relatively calm. Like, they're not that nervous when they're in their cage. They just sit around and eat and don't bother each other too much. So you can keep quite a bunch of them in the same cage. And, uh, well, they're amazing. And uh, let's see if I can disturb this one a little bit. And see if she will uh, do her little taunting thing with the wings. Because that's one of the really cool features of this insect. But they're a bit shy. And it's difficult to handle them because they tend to drop themselves to the ground because, uh, well, it's their defensive mechanism, I guess. Oh, let's see if I can pick it up. Uh, I think maybe because it's a little bit colder now, she's relatively calm. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I have to be careful that she doesn't drop herself because she could damage herself with that. You can see she has beautiful uh, orange with black wings and when she feels threatened like I'm kind of threatening her right now she will uh, flap those wings like mad to chase me off thinking I tried to attack something out of my league she'll make some weird sounds with the wings oh yeah, it's a bit hard to capture on camera because she wants to go all over the place but I think it's really cool. And uh, it's something you wouldn't expect from such a like 
boringly colored animal, I suppose. They're just green or brown. But when they uh, get mad, they'll give you a little surprise action. Oh, now the male's clinging onto me as well. Let's put it back. The male will do the same, but sadly the male, um, well, he can fly. So when I bug him, he'll just take off and I'll have to chase him through my house. Which uh, we can do for fun. I don't mind. Let's see if we can grab him. There we go. Show yourself. He's calmed down a little bit. <laughs> Come on. Do your magic, boy. You can do it. Oh, there we go. You can see you got the same wing coloration. Oh, yeah, sorry if I'm like smacking animals into the camera, but it's quite difficult. Oh, there we go. To capture it properly. It's probably a bit dark as well on the camera because the weather is not the best right now. But, oh, and he's on my arm. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, let me focus the camera again. This is uh, Phasma Gigas. It kind of has the two coolest parts in its name. It's a species of uh, Phasma Tadea, so Phasma and Gigas, it's huge. How simple can you get with Latin? <laughs> well, yeah. So, I hope someone likes this. It's my favorite species by, uh, well, quite a bit. And uh, I hope someone uh, likes this as well, since most people seem to prefer the leaf insects, but I just think these are amazing. Like, look at that beast. So, maybe I'll make another video uh, a later with a bit better uh, light and uh, let her walk on me or something. But uh, I thought this was the best way I could show her details without, uh, well, turning it into a video about me with a bug on me instead of the insect itself. She's all in her camouflage move again with the head in the, in the armpits. Yeah, oh well, uh, have a nice day. Bye!